Yes. Yeah, that's correct. Great. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Dr. Theodore Puddington. You might remember me from such documentaries as The Red Fox Heads West, Belugas of the St. Lawrence, and the hit TV show Canadian Gladiators. What, you've never heard of Canadian Gladiators? No? No. Well, anyways, we're here today to talk to you about the marbled Mirbalon, recently discovered outer galactic space creature honed in to our planetary absorption. That is a word. Here we are. We follow the pygmy all the way down to this subterranean layer to the asteroid strike. And uh, we think we know what it is. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> the pygmies, as I speak, fluent pygmy has said that this is a confirmed pod. The hatchling is out and it's somewhere around here. This is not a safe area. We have got to get out of here. Let's do it. <laughs> We've got to get out of here. I can hear them breathing. Well, our worst dreams and nightmares have come true. On this dead gray whale, it's been washed up for probably half a month, is the first evidence on planet Earth the marble Mirbalon has touched down. As you can see, classic Mirbalon peck marks. What they'll do is they'll make their way along the whale pecking until they find a weak spot. Once they find a weak spot, they'll burrow their heads in and feed like the ravenous little rats that they are. This whale here will sustain a flock of Merbalons for two weeks. As you can see, they've already burrowed themselves into the skull, eating the most nutritious part of the whale, the brain. And they're here. Yeah. They're always here. Once they've established a colony, they'll be up in the forest looking at us with their beady little eyes. We should watch our step. We should get out of here. Merbalon tracks. Middle of the savannah. No one suspected that they would uh, come this far inland, but here we are. Great plains. Nothing but grass here and sand. Yeah. They're here. Let's roll. Here we are in northern Namibia. We have had reports of a male Merbalon possibly sighted in the area. So, we are here to meet a local contact named Nick Knack Paddywhack, give a dog a bone, and he's apparently supposed to meet us in this area.
swim trackers. Yeah. Okay, Nick, Nick. We're with you. Great looking butt. Okay. Look at this. This is an ancient ritual. He's showing that there was a very happy Merbalon. You can see how he makes interesting work in the sand. All right, let's go. Here we are at Nick Knack's house. He's visibly distraught. This is what's left of his house. Uh, so what he's saying is that the Merbalons knocked down his shed. Completely distraught. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Holy macaroni. He's extremely angry. Look at that. It blew, it huffed, and it puffed, and it blew his house in. Oh man, yeah. It, he, exactly. His dick duck. His dick duck. Apparently, his dick duck got broken, and oh no, his, his sister in law ran off. With a guy that goes bowling or something, apparently. <laughs> Nick -nack. Oh yeah, an ice skate. He was an ice skater. He was a professional ice skater before all this went down. Oh god. Well, we're gonna have to follow him. Keep in touch.